Hello, this episode is brought to you by Really Raw Honey. Never barreled, heated, or strained. Okay, um, I wish. Uh, if you guys, if anyone from Really Raw Honey is watching this, let me know. Like, come on, you know, send me a few free jars, I'll talk about it. I guess I'm already doing some talking. So, before you guys watch this video, if you go buy this honey, like, buy it online and add a note like, Frank told me to get it, or like, uh, sponsor Frank, or something like that, I don't know. But, uh, so lately, uh, over the past year or two, I mean, I've experimented a little bit here and there with honey, and you know, various indigenous groups did consume, uh, I mean, honey in itself as well as other carbohydrates. Now, the important thing to note about honey is the reason I use it is like to add palatability to raw foods, to add palatability to certain foods when I d that I don't necessarily want to eat, mainly in the context of maintaining a higher body mass and weight on a raw diet, and it's also just uh, something I've used and experimented with in the past to give me energy before my workouts. And uh, it's only like maybe a tablespoon or two is all really your, your liver can process that quickly. So the reason honey is so beneficial, and uh, you guys can Google this, the, the glucose to fructose ratios are ideal enough that your liver can digest it properly. You know, in the case of things like high fructose corn syrup, the glucose isn't present. In the case of certain fruit juices, it doesn't have the proper enzymes because it's been, you know, juiced and pasteurized. Honey has a lot of beneficial enzymes that allow the food to be digested properly. If it's not complete, you know, this is this is unheated, unstrained, raw. It has uh, pollen, propolis, and honeycomb in it. And uh, the reason I like that is because it, it turns this food into something that's uh, like tastes like honey into like almost a very it's a very complex addition in regards to taste. So, benefits of honey, uh, raw honey, is definitely, it, it digests very easily, it's a good source of carbohydrates, it's an excellent source of enzymes. Uh, I'm not honestly really, I'm sure there's, you know, they didn't put a full mineral content on this, and I'm sure the mineral content of a food like this is drastically different than the honey from the supermarket, so I'm not quite sure I could find good enough data on that. If you guys look in the jar here, there's a bunch of stuff. In. That's the pollen, that's the honeycomb, that's the propolis which is pretty much B parts. So what I like doing is, although this stuff at the top tastes delicious on its own, there's just not an incredible amount of it. So I'd rather just, you know, mix it up completely in the honey and have all the honey taste pretty good as opposed to just a few very enjoyable tasty bites. Remember the first time I bought this? I just ate that crust off the top. So, I mean, when I go down to the green market or the next time I go to the farmer's market, I'm gonna ask the apiary if they could sell me just like the honeycomb with everything on it. So, I mixed it all up. And now we have like a, a spoon with uh, mostly honey, but a little bit of those, the honeycomb, the propolis, the pollen. And guys, this is delicious. It's very, very overpowering on its own. I don't think I could eat more than a couple teaspoons without feeling sick, but... The nice thing about this is I got a piece of beef fat right here, soft grass-fed beef fat. I'm going to do a video on that separately, but... I take a, an incredibly tiny amount of honey. You could even do less than this. I just spread... Uh, a, a tiny layer of honey on it and look like it's literally like no honey and what I essentially just did was I put about 80 calories of raw beef fat in my mouth that tasted like honey without really any carbohydrate content I really love using honey for this purpose of making raw meals more enjoyable although you do have to keep in mind you know you don't really want to increase the palatability too much like, like here I actually have some raw ice cream I made for my family, it's uh, it's going bad, but um, it's like raw honey, egg, raw egg yolks, raw cream, and just by adding a little bit of honey, just a very small amount, a very insignificant amount of sugar, you increase the entire palatability and flavor of a large amount of nutrient dense fat. So if you want to gain weight, if you want to make certain foods more palatable, this works great with liver, beef fat, the only thing I've found that this doesn't really work well with is muscle meats, but I mean, even pork and duck and uh, goose like goes really well with honey, even cooked. 
Like here, here I have some goose liver, and on its own, like on its own, no, it's okay. But a little bit of honey and the goose liver. Like the honey always counteracts like any negative flavors in these raw animal products, if there are any. Like some people think liver is a bit too minerally, some people think it's bitter, but the honey fixes all of that. So this was actually like $13 at my local shop, right? I've seen it in Whole Foods for $18, and honestly, you should be able to get raw honey for a slightly better price at a local farmer's market, even raw. It should be around $8 or $10 a pound, so uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, any more questions about the honey, please let me know if you guys would like to support me. Uh, I guess in this video in particular, reach out to Really Raw Honey and try not. Um, you can subscribe to me and above all, guys, just share my channel. There's a bunch of social media and links to other things in my comments from uh, the, like the donate links to, uh, like I've been on a couple other podcasts recently and other YouTube channels. So uh, feel free to check that out.